Good morning. We're going straight into it again today because I forgot my GoPro so I couldn't film any kind of driving to work footage. Not that it's very interesting. At the moment it's just a normal grey early February day and it's Friday and I'm about to go into work. I slept so badly last night. The quiz night was really fun by the way. Uh, we didn't come last, we didn't come second to last. Uh, but we didn't come first or second, but they didn't rank everyone in the middle. So we were somewhere in the middle, but we don't know where. It was really good. And um, it was a good mix of tricky questions and questions that we could answer. And there was like a picture round where you had to put pictures together to make the names of like celebrity couples. That was quite fun. We were very pleased with ourselves when we finally managed to crack those. And yeah, just uh, it was just myself and my friend and then Dan and her husband joined us for the last hour. And yeah, it wasn't too late as well. It was all over by half past nine. So we were, yeah, it was good. We, I had a really nice time, but I did not sleep well. My nose, um, although it's, my sinuses are now not as blocked, my, the inside of my nose is really sore, especially on this one. My nose is really swollen. There's someone over there who's been parking for like the last five minutes. I'm not sure why she's finding this so difficult. I'm not going to watch her. I'm not, I won't put the pressure on her, but she's been parking for a long time. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, my nose is really sore and really swollen and that was keeping me awake. Uh, yeah, so I feel a bit, I, you know, I feel surprisingly okay, despite having a bit of a rubbish night's sleep. And I've got a busy day ahead of me at work and I've forgotten my muddy boots. My old muddy boots that I use just for walking round at lunchtime. Oh, somebody asked in the comments, um, when I say that I go for a walk at lunchtime, does that mean I do that instead of having lunch and don't I get hungry? No, I don't. So I work 8.30 till 4.30 and I get a half hour break for lunch. Uh, no one's counting or anything like that. It's not like we're on the clock or anything like that. But I do only take half an hour for lunch and I use that to walk and I eat whilst I'm working. So I usually have my lunch whilst I'm working at my desk and then I go for my walk for my actual lunch break and then when I come back I get my Diet Coke out the fridge and I have that whilst I'm working as well. So it's really nice. I'm terrible for uh, my lunch actually because I get so hungry when I'm at work like I'm watching the clock until midday so I can say it's lunchtime and eat. And I usually have a sandwich which is why I can have it at my desk but today I've got leftover pasta bacon salad. So I'm going to have to take my lunch break in the kitchen in order to heat that up and eat it. Oh, I'm hungry now, just talking about it. <laughs> right, I'm going to go in. Oh, and I was listening this morning on my way in to the Wild Water Women. Where's my phone? Oh, my camera is resting on my phone. The Wild Water Women. I'll put the thing up so you can see who the author is because I keep forgetting. It's okay. I like the fact that it's a story about friendship. It's not a romance, which I'm enjoying. It's a story about friendship. It's very much a love story to the Lake District as well. It feels quite slow and I thought there was going to be a twist and it turns out, I mean, I'm only halfway through, there might still be a bit of a twist. I don't think it's a twisty type of tale though. Uh, but something has been revealed that told me that there wasn't a twist. I was overthinking it. <laughs> so it's just a, a gentle easy listening story of female friendship, um, cold water swimming and the Lake District. It's kind of what I need at the moment. Um, it's just sort of a background story that's just quite nice to have on. I'm definitely ready for something a bit more challenging next on audio though. But I don't know what, so I have nothing more of interest to say on that matter. Got my hair scraped back again. It's Oh, it's hours later and I haven't filmed a thing. Work today was bananas. It, I, I have not been that busy in ages. I've just had so many inquiries coming in and things that I had to deal with. And then we were having a sort of press morning for our new exhibition at the museum. And I got roped into being a model. <laughs> I had to stand having my photo taken looking at things in a serious manner. It was a very peculiar feeling, like having someone take your photo and say, just tilt your head up slightly, look up there a bit, look more serious, put your hands by your sides. So that's what I've been up to. And now I am home. Uh, I got home late and then I had to edit my vlog, which is now exporting. And it's Friday night and I'm going 
to pour myself a blooming frizzante. And Dan has just put together our pizza bases. Yes, I did. Go, I need a shave and I need to cut my hair. Yeah, Anyone? you're looking, yeah, you're looking quite sort of... Rugged, caveman-ish, hobo-ish. Feral. There we go. <laughs> No one's here, it's just me and Dan. Lilia's at her boyfriend's, we're not picking her up for another couple of hours, and Phoebe's on a sleepover. Uh, yeah. We won't see her till she's home. About yeah, tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah, so um, we're gonna have pizza and watch whatever we blimmin' well want. <laughs> not a good look is it i've had my pizza i've probably got kale stuck in my teeth and i've just been having a little look at your comments um from my day five vlog and you are really making me laugh with how strongly you feel about doctor who <laughs> who is the best doctor in your opinion matt smith out of the following, because these are the ones I mentioned. Okay. Yeah. Matt Smith, David Tennant, Jodie Whittaker. Of those or, three. Um, I think we also, did we also mention... Peter Capaldi? Peter Capaldi. Uh, Who I, I have to say, I no. Not Peter Capaldi, no. spot on the list for me. My favourite is Jodie Whittaker. Yeah. Then David Tennant, then Matt Smith. Oh, you see, people are going to be angry. But that's good. It's because people are passionate about it and they all have their opinions. I think and it's good that people have different favourites. I think my favourite comment, let me see if it's still here. I See if I can find it. I mean, so lots of people are just sort of, yeah. <laughs> it's Nancy, it knits it happy. All it says is tenant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just loving how, like. People are getting really, like, into this. <laughs> it's an important topic. Yeah, but is that because he's a good doctor or because she fancies him? Nancy? Is it because he's a good doctor or do you fancy David Tennant? Do we lots fancy David lots of, people like, lots of people think he's a sexy man. He's a sexy, raggedy man. <laughs> hmm. I don't see that to myself, but okay. Oh, good. Otherwise you'd be married to him, not me. We've already established you are a raggedy man. No, I'm a hobo right now. <laughs> Turn that off and get it out of shot as well. I'm just sitting doing a bit of doodling. Dan's gone to get Lilia and I just don't have like the capacity in my brain for knitting and crocheting i just don't have it in me today it's just it's like that sometimes not often but it does happen so i've decided to do a little bit of doodling instead i really enjoy for a bit of de-stressing just making up a nonsensical doodle and just enjoying filling it in with my little ink i use a uniball eye pen i've actually i actually found a little photo for inspiration for this one there we go. Isn't that cool? So mine's not going to be anywhere near as good as that, but that's what I want to do. I want to do like a little Zen doodly mountain range and then do a colourful sky. I might just do a one colour sky. Ooh. Woo. <laughs> that was a bit trippy for a moment. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing to kind of de-stress on a Friday night and drinking my Vizanti as well and watching Landscape Artist of the Year. Sorry, I had a notification on my phone. That's about it for today, really, because there's nothing else of interest going to be happening. We're going to be sitting watching telly, I'm going to doodle, and then we're going to go to bed. So I'll see you tomorrow for the very last day of this week of vlogs. It seems like longer than a week, but at the same time, it seems much shorter. See you tomorrow.